Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, guess you can tell I like Dio. Okay, I'm going over this. I'm gonna go over this page. This is 4B. It's gonna be video 4B of my series, and uh, what this will be is me showing people that have versions of kernel uh, a Linux installation with vernal versions of, of the Linux kernel of 2.6 or higher but uh, below 2.6.25 blah <laughs> <laughs> okay what are the steps we gotta take here okay there's uh, this page has again two aims to it one is it to get uh, this little piece of um, software that when you run it, it shows down here, as far as I know, it just tells you, oh, you have video zero. Well, you can do the same thing with the series of commands I already did in the earlier videos, so I'm not gonna go over all of that. So, what you're gonna do, and I guess I just just make sure that, um, the problem is I can't, I can't really tell. <laughs> I think that this these first two steps that include subversion, yeah, um, get you uh, live webcam and, and what they don't mention here is also how to install the driver. <laughs> and that starts with number three and they should have that at the top. Okay, so what you gotta do is basically it's a cut and paste job. Uh, either, you know, if you're in Ubuntu, you're used to doing the sudo thing, you know, you just copy this sucker. But you have to know what version of kernel you have, and it's probably not going to be 32 like I have. If you're doing this, if it's if it's higher than 2626, you don't need to do this. Stop now, <laughs> okay? Um, if, if if it's 2625, then you copy this, and then you go know, your edit and paste, and then you change this those two X's to whatever kernel you have. And how do you know what kernel is? Well, you're just going to have to guess, my friend. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. What you have to do is uh, type the command in. I think as root, or it could be sudo. Uh, you can do sudo, then this command. I'm already in as root. Uh, it's uname.r. If you are... If you've been... Uh, su sufficiently fooled to be scared to actually log in as root... <laughs> You know, you do sudo you name r and then ask you well, what's your password. Of course, it wouldn't say root there. It would say um, your name. It wouldn't say just anyway. That's pointless. And, and then um, so let me go back and then the result will be this. And I have two six thirty two. I'm okay. Don't need to do this anything on this page. For for me now for um, for uh for you unfortunate people. Uh, you're gonna have to um, copy this, and of course, mine says 2632. It's all you care about. Forget about the rest. The 24 and generic doesn't mean much. Reply to this, and you're gonna replace where mine says 32. I would put 32 here, 2632, 2632. Uh, but I guess you're by 25 or or, or whatever. You press enter, and what will happen is you'll, uh, this will install. And I guess, you know, I already have mine installed. So I'm already root, I'm not going to do the pseudo thing. So it reads the sources list, it checks for the packages, and in my case it tells me that I already have it installed. And I have some crazy glitch in my app that I don't know what to do about. I can't get, but it has nothing to do with us, what, what, what we're doing now. Okay. So, I remember it took about seven minutes. I'm on, on a, I happen to be on a T1. So, um, you know, it could take 60 megabytes of a download. I don't know how long it, it'll take. It could take maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes if you're on dial up. Who knows, right? Then, after, basically, it's an exercise in copying and pasting the contents of this web page. So, again, there, there it is. Hopefully, I'm getting that. Then you just copy and paste user, uh, user source, put that in there, and press enter. Then you do the. Uh, then you unzip the file that that was downloaded as a result of using apt get it. Apt get 
or uh, apt is the same thing as aptitude, and apt get install is the same thing as I believe is aptitude install. And you, you tape this, you, you paste that in. It puts you this CD user source puts you in the directory where that landed. Then uh, this command, this tar, uh, takes it out of a um, zip a zip format and uh, just it expands all the directories. And then you do the CD, and that gets you into the correct directory to um, to then do an to look for the driver. Which is uh, the driver's uh, video header file. Okay, so you want to do uh, sudo update db, and your if you're already in his root, just update db, and you just copy, you can paste it in there, and then you locate that. Now the trick here was uh, they do a decent job of making it clear, but maybe I should do it on video in case it doesn't turn out clear. Once you run this command, locate. UVC video H, the result that'll come out will look something like this here, but it will have an additional line and UVC video H after it. And what they're saying here is in the in the build process here where they got the CMake, right here it's got UVC video path. Um, they um. They want you to put in the output from locate UVC video H minus the UVC video H and the line that comes after UVC. Understand? In this command, you can still copy and paste this. Um, and with your clipper here, you can select older things that you have copied later on and, and use it. So, you know, I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to paste this, right? I didn't press enter. If I press enter, it's not going to do anything because UVC video path needs to um, needs to be defined. And uh, let's see. Okay, now I'll copy this. Let's see how I'm doing it. Of course, you would copy the output from up here somewhere. And you can do that too. You know, highlight it, edit, copy. I'm not doing that now though because I want to paste, and I go edit, paste, hmm, this is act, this is responding kind of strange, it seems like my clipper is, is, is picking up for, as the thing to be ready to paste is anything I highlight, I remember that being said, now I'm going to, yeah, in fact, this is good, I'll, I'll show you how to select something else that you've copy earlier and paste it earlier, but you might want to paste again, which you don't have this option in Windows. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so i uh, press the up arrow, takes me back to what I did last time, and which I don't want this, uh, whatever came up there, and then I paste it, right? But in your case, your case you would have grabbed it from up, up above after you ran the locate command. And it won't have this X because that's their example. And say you were doing 25, okay. And when you paste it in, you'll when you paste it in, it'll start out like UVC. You won't be typing this stuff. It'll end up when you paste it. It'll look like this. And what you'll do is then after, and then hit the back key. Then you press enter. And then it, it should locate the uh, no then and then it should work it'll it'll be able to, to compile and, and then it says um, of course you have I think if do you have to have GCC I don't think you have G, I think CMake you may have to have GCC in there uh, which is the GNU C compiler and you may have to have GLIBC installed you know if you're using a completely different package set um, that doesn't come uh, with GCC and GLIBC when you first inst when you first install then you might have to do that I'm not sure okay then it gives you a couple of warnings and then all you gotta do is it says well don't worry about the warnings basically okay <laughs> and then if something else comes out and then they give you something for 
something probably you don't care about. This you probably don't care about. And this is just saying ignore the warning. And then the next thing you do after it's done doing whatever it does, you just type make. And then you type make install. And you have to be root to make install. And that's it. And uh, don't worry about this UVCDYN control because you're only after, you only want to know two things. Three things. Again, just to review. Uh, you want your uh, kernel to detect the fact that the the webcam is plugged in and that it has a both a video device and an, and an audio device. Um, now what is odd about the way Linux is working, at least in the version of the kernel that I have, is when I ran um, the LS minus L capital F dev audio star, audio star being one word, so slash dev slash audio star, so going by memory, I'll just do it. Just do it. Um, here. So I did uh, L S, which L S means just to display the contents of a directory. Uh, minus L F. I'm not. I'm not sure what that what that means, but it works. So I'm not going to worry about it. dev audio. I'm going to put a little star there. And it only shows one device. When this camera is plugged in, there will be two of them. But for VLC's purposes, there, there's a secret, and that secret is that you have to say the device is HW colon <laughs> 1 comma 0. And the only way, you can, one way to find that out is by using going into Audacity, or you can just use the, the, um, the tool that I just recommended, G U V C. It's in there. <laughs> uh, well, here it is. Uh, G U V C V I E W. And um, at that point, uh, you can go to the audio section, and one of the devices listed will be a US USB device, and you pick that one. Otherwise, you got to go into if you want to use VLC, you got to go into Audacity. As far as I know, it's the easiest way for me to get it done. If, and if you don't have Audacity installed, you have to install Audacity. Go into Audacity, go to Edit and Preferences, which it won't show here, but it shows in one of my other videos. Uh, it opens up. Come on, you know, Edit, Preferences, you got Devices, you're looking for recording devices. And listed among these will be one that says USB device, and it'll give you this little HW colon and a, a number, comma, number. In my case, it was 0, comma, 1. Uh, that could change in the future. Um, if, I, if I start running a later version of the kernel, another later version of Ubuntu, things change in kernel land all the time. That's why a lot of people have problems, but I digress. <laughs> Then once you know that, you go into VLC. If you choose to use VLC, which I'm recommending that you do not, but if you insist on using it, you bastard you, you're going to go into uh, media, you're going to open your capture device, and here where it says audio device name, you're going to put an HW colon uh, 1 comma 0. And then, of course, for the video device name, you're going to get that by um, running video... What's the deal here? Oh, I don't have it plugged in, so nothing's going to display, but you would have, you would run this command with the asterisk. Press enter, it would tell you what device it was. You know, mine's not plugged in, so it doesn't. But mine ended up being dev video zero in my case, and so the result of that command is what goes up here in the video device, but not the audio device. And then you go through the whole procedure of capturing, but that's VLC, and again, I don't recommend it. I do recommend this other program that comes later on in the presentation. So now I am done. Now I'll be able to move on, and I'll be able to do my bootloader presentation, but I wanted to make sure I got a decent video up, and uh, my explanation was complete and of a better quality. So if in later videos you see me monkeying around with VLC, well, just remember that uh, this will be, uh, number four was uh, both parts of number four was re was created at a later time. <laughs> okay, um, that's it.